Everything you need is already inside of you. The world would not be what it is without you. When we begin to create change within us, we begin to create change in the world around us. Your journey to becoming your best self as the whole person starts right now. Hello and welcome to our podcast. I'm Lauren Sweeney and I am your host of the Become Your Best podcast and webinar series. We're very excited to have our special guest, Marcus Bell, or as he calls himself, Bell Ringer, here today. Let me tell you a little bit about him and then I'll bring him on. We're going to talk about changing your life in 100 days. And he specifically has a challenge around that, which is such perfect timing. It is June 1st of 2021. If you're watching us live on Facebook or perhaps you're listening to us as you drive to work or go on that vacation or go for that run. Marcus Bell is an entrepreneur, and he's one of the top music producers and composers in the industry. He lives very close by to me here in Los Angeles, California. He has worked with some of the biggest artists in the country, such as Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, Snoop Dogg, and many more. He's also produced and composed for some of the most famous films and TV shows. Apart from that, Bell is a successful entrepreneur who wants to help people achieve their goals in life. That's why he created a project, which we're going to talk about today, called the 100 Days Challenge. In his Wealth and Impact Bootcamp, to help people guide their way to success. Please help me welcome to the podcast, Marcus Bell. So glad to have you on today. Oh, so great to be here. Thanks for having me uh, and having the opportunity to share with your audience and, and engage with you. Absolutely. We're, we're excited about it. So tell me how you came up with this idea for this 100 day challenge. I love the sound of it. Yeah, well, b- before we go there, I'd like to, to say that I really like your intro. Thank you. And, Thank you. you know, there's the statement around changing within. Mm. It's such a, an important thing, right? You know, if we want to see something change outside of us, if we want to see something change in our environment, whether it's with relationships, whether it's uh, in activity with what we do with our work, like the change happening within is, is where the first place it is to look. Yeah. And so I love that your intro points to that. And, and that that is really kind of the spirit of the 100 Days Impact Challenge. Because yeah. if you look at different areas of, of life, whether it's relationship, whether it's spirituality, whether it's education or knowledge or uh, politics or what whatever area of life that's important to you, and you actually want to expand and grow a capacity in that area, whether it, it comes from within, like a, a within desire to to change or yeah. to, uh, to grow or to expand or to do a thing, right? So there are many different uh, access points to making an impact. And, and that's really what the spirit of the 100 Days Impact Challenge. Absolutely. Absolutely. Being able to first look at myself, have that self-awareness, and then I can make an impact on others. I'm sure you feel that as well, that to create real social change or relationships, first I have to start with me and it does start inside of myself and then I can go out and give it to others. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I stand for dignity and compassion for myself yeah. and all others. And so, so there as, as a, as a meeting place (laughs) for, for interacting with, with the world uh, around me and the world that, that I engage with. And, and so, you know, so I I think part of our, our journey as a human being is to discover what it is internally that we really stand for and, and what we care about, what, where our values are and, and so forth. And so, so I've I've uh, created things like Wealth and Impact Bootcamp to help people discover their purpose, discover their thing, their contribution to uplift the world. And so the 100 Days Impact Challenge came out of of that Wealth and Impact Bootcamp. And so uh, 
So yeah, so you're 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 spot on. It's all about the inner discovery. It's kind of like the deeper you go inward, mm. the bigger you can go outward. Yes. Yes. If if I don't go inward, it really is difficult exactly to make an impact and people won't want to follow us as well cuz we're not authentic. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And and it's um you know, it's a evolving, right? There are things, at least as far as I could tell, you know, there are things that emerge <laughs> that that uh, create opportunities for growth, right? Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, I, I think about so my my mother passed away um, a mm -hmm. couple of years back, and so I was with my daughter, um, you know. Uh, a couple of days ago and we were talking about Memorial Day, right? We were talking yeah. about we were talking about, you know, thinking about and remembering, right? And so so she said, Baba, who do you want to remember? And I was like, oh well, you know, I want to remember my mother, right? Mm -hmm. And so so when I think about you know the process of grieving through her her death, right? Wow, it's it's been one of the most expansive growth opportunities for me uh, because I've never had to deal with grief in that way, right? And so, um, so remembering, so so there there are um, people that are part of like the Hundred Days Impact Challenge that you know that have taken on gratitude challenges, right? Where where there's one participant, his name is is Noah. And he's created a hundred days of gratitude, right? And so, so when I think about, you know, things like, well, what am I grateful for? I'm, I'm grateful that I was able to, to have, you know, the time that I had with, with my mom, right? Mm -hmm. And, and have the relationship. I'm, I'm grateful that, you know, we created a book together that, that was, you know, um, you know, in her last year of life, uh, became a number one bestseller. Right, I'm I'm grateful mm -hmm. for being able to share in some successes uh, with her, and then mostly I'm I'm grateful for her planting the seed in me to want to create impact in the world. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I love that remembering and that gratitude practice. We we do that a lot. We have what we call a rise morning routine, mm -hmm. and just taking that time to sit and remember. It, it grounds us in being able to move forward and make different choices. Yeah, yeah, I, absolutely. And, you know, there, there, there are all these studies. So, so Noah, who I, who I mentioned, yeah. he's, he has a, a doctorate and he's done extensive study on gratitude, right? Yeah. And so uh, it's said that if you take on that for six months, right, of, of a practice of gratitude that your increase in happiness mm. is undeniable, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so, so mm -hmm. your increase in happiness, your, and your health, the health benefits of gratitude practices. And so, so that, that's really mm -hmm. kind of, um, you know, what these challenges are really about, right? Is like, can you put in place some practices and create, um, you know, an environment by joining an environment that yeah. is going to help propel, you know, you, whether it's your health, whether it's your wealth, <laughs> you know, like that. I love that. Well, also let's talk about community as well, right? Mm -hmm. When we're in a group of people that are also doing a challenge together, it supports us in a way because together, even if we're doing the inner work by ourselves, I think there's so much power in being connected together. Oh, absolutely. You know, there's there's so much that, that happens inside of community that, uh, you know, I've, I've been studying things like social psychology and psychology mm -hmm. and philosophy and, and neuroscience and you know what? You know how the brain works. <laughs> all, all these different components, and and actually, the way the hundred days impact challenge is designed, is designed with some 
key things that we've discovered, right, that help to forward someone in terms of their activity of life, right? Mm -hmm. and, um, and one of those factors is community, but not just any community, right? So it's, it's a, if you are inside of a community that's headed in a similar direction, and if you make an investment, so this is another piece of it. Once you invest, you put some, you know, they say skin in the game, yeah. right? Once you're making an investment and join a community, that's making a commitment. That's like your first commitment is when you join something. And then the next level of commitment is if you play full out, like how are you mm -hmm. in community, right? And then how are you allowing community to support the things that it is that you want to accomplish. And so, uh, so, so 100 Days Impact Challenge, actually, that's part of, you know, the beauty of its design um, is that it has such a supportive community where they're really going out there, they're going for, for their dreams, they're going for their aims that they're set forth. And, and because it's a general challenge, right, it's not specific, like, okay, although you can take on specific things, you, you can learn from other people in community. So not just supportive of, of, you know, and people cheering for your successes, right? But also there's this opportunity to learn from other people um, that, that, you know, that is key for, uh, for inner growth, right? It's not oh, yeah. just what I learn from myself, but what do I see others experiencing that, that actually helped propel me as well. Mm, absolutely. When people are aligned with something, a common goal and they have an idea and they're both working towards it, all of them, whether there's two of you in a group or there's 2000 of you in a group, moving towards that common direction really has a lot of synergy and can help with the sustainability of us as individuals making changes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, you know, it's like, you think about new year's res resolutions. Yeah. yeah. Come January 18th, most people have just quit. <laughs> they just quit, you know, and, and the whole thing is like what you focus on grows, right? Wherever you focus your attention grows. And so if you're putting your attention on something that is of importance, of value to you, that you have either, you know, you just say, OK, I'm not going to uh, I don't know if I could do it, whether that's, you know, starting a business or, you know, an entrepreneurial endeavor or, you know, I want a, a, a health aim or something like that or or even, you know, I want to read more books. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Well what structures are there to support you to do that? Well, you know, the hundred days is one of those structures, right? Because it allows you to be able to put your attention on that thing that you want to grow. And so inside of putting the attention on the thing that we want to grow, it's like, okay, then there are, there's orchestrating the practices. So, um, so we put in, in the, the, the challenge, Lauren, you know, there's like a workbook, mm -hmm. there's, there's a there's a mini course that helps you to like really design from a behavior standpoint what it is that you need to put in place in order to have that thing sustain over time. I love that. And then there's a thing that that I, I call a challenge stacking. So if you look at the the year, inside of a year you could take on about four different challenges. Right. So if you think about, well, if I let's say if it's a health aim, like, OK, I'm going to start with, you know, a meditation practice, maybe. Right. Right. A meditation practice. And then after 100 days of that meditation practice, continuing the meditation practice. Now I'm going to do a walking practice. 100 days. Mm. Right. And now I'm going to I'm going to do a change in my diet. Right. So now you have three things. I'm, I'm running out of hands. <laughs> now you have three things that are stacking on top of each other. Right. Mm -hmm. And then one last thing like, oh, you know what? I'm cutting out sugar. Right. 
Now, do you think that after meditation, walking, change of diet, and cutting out sugar, that there may be a health benefit? Absolutely. Absolutely. You think you might have more energy? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yes, like that. I love that. Well, and also sharing the wins with others, speaking to the community aspect, you feel good and we want a one win creates another win and we crave we crave that sense of accomplishment, right? Yeah. So I love that you're seeing the little wins. I also love that you talked about stacking it. And I think this is great for all of us that are looking to make a habit change. Here we are, we're coming up on six months into 2021, which is mm -hmm. like a blink of an eye. Ooh, all of a sudden. Wow. And I, I love that you talked about stacking it. So we may have 12 things that we want to work on. Let's work on one. Awesome. We crushed it. Great. Now let's work on two. Yeah. Trying to eat the entire elephant, we're going to give up, turn around and go eat the hamburger, right? right. It's not going to happen. <laughs> so stacking it and then celebrating along the way creates that sustainability. And really, then we can see the benefits. So let's say someone's listening and they're like, I'm on board. I know we're going to talk about how they can find your challenge in just a minute. Mm. Where would you say somebody would start, though? It, if they want to start making some changes? Yeah, well, the, the first place to start is to go into 100 days with a Z 2021. Or if you're listening to this uh, and it's 2022, go to 100 days with a Z 2022. Or if it's 2029, you can go to 100 days 20. 29 days with a Z or 20, uh, if it's 2030 and you're listening to the, so if I love it, if you haven't noticed in what I just said, we're committed, mm. we're committed for the long haul wow. in terms of, of the hundred days movement. Wow. So, so this, this is a, a movement. And so, so the first thing with anything that you want to accomplish over a long period of time, uh, is committing, projecting out that commitment, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And and put and putting some skin in the game, right? Yes. So so uh, so by by joining, you know, the hundred days impact challenge is is, is a dollar a day, right? So it's a hundred dollars, right? So it's is a very you know affordable way to commit, right? And then there's another piece here inside which we hadn't talked about so there's actual prizes that Ooh. we award people inside of the 100 days challenge i love it so uh so there's a friend of mine he did some of the jury for the black panther movie mm. right so mm -hmm. one of the awards uh we just recently awarded uh, some participants in the in the challenge. Uh, one person got an award of a piece of jewelry from that movie. Wow! Right. Um, another one uh, won the award of like these designer jeans, like is this uh, amazing uh, jean designer, right? Wow. And so, so basically, we're 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 watching. So inside of community, we're we're watching, observing, and and seeing mm -hmm. how people are participating, and then. And then, you know, we have an uh, impactor award. We have the, the love award. We have all these different awards that we've created and we do ceremonies. Uh, you know, we just did a, a ceremony recently, an award ceremony where, where we've, we've celebrated some of the uh, impactor participants. And so, so when you join the challenge, you know, there's, it's gamified. So it's not just, not just community. Mm -hmm. It's not just, oh, here are the steps that you can take in order to, to, to make it work inside of the, the course, but it is also, it's, you can get an award. So some people that, that won an award, yeah. oh, one woman, um, she won a couple of awards because she started a movement out of the 100 Days Impact Challenge called Up in the Chair. So every single day she lifted up somebody in the chair Right for something great that they were doing, or 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 a community, or an organization, and so she did that consistently for a hundred days, and and over a thousand people ended up joining her Facebook group, 
uh, for the up in the chair movement and started to share and started uplifting other people, right? So she, mm -hmm. she's one of the, the award winners for, for her challenge. You're, for, you're for really making impact. an impact and then it's growing, it becomes contagious. And I, I love too, Marcus, that you're taking your influence that you have within your sphere. And it seems like pulling people in and saying, you know what, I know, I know someone involved in this. I know someone involved in this since we're in the Hollywood space mm -hmm. and using that those resources to create this positive impact. Really a phenomenal movement, a phenomenal idea. So if you're listening, it's 100 days with a Z 2021 because right yes. now it's 2021. Depends on the year. Just go ahead and you can join the movement. You can also find Marcus uh, on Instagram, Twitter at Bell Ringer Music as well. So that's a great place. But really, really the main place he said to find him is on the website, is working the challenge. Well, Marcus, we love to ask a final question. Sure. You touched on it at the beginning when you were talking about our intro. What does Rise Up For You mean to you? Hmm. Well, Rise Up for me is we all rise. Rise up for me is rise up for us. So if I'm just lifting myself, then that doesn't do the world much good. Mm -hmm. But if I'm creating an opportunity to lift up others, then there's a lot of philosophy that, that has pointed to this. A lot of people have done a lot of thinking about this. And I've done some thinking about this as well, that kind of the path to self-actualization is actually contribution. And so, so if I want to become more self-actualized, then I must rise into how I can contribute to the world. I love that. Beautifully said. Marcus, it's been amazing having you on the podcast today. Oh, so great being with you, Lauren. Thank you for the, the impact you're making and those listening to join the challenge and really to just continue our growth and development. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you, Lauren, in the challenge. I love it. I love it. I'm going to go check it out. 100 days with a Z 2021.com. Fantastic. Thank you for being here today. Uh, thank you. Oh, wasn't that great? Just amazing conversation about lifting ourselves up so then we can support others. It's been a pleasure being your host today on the Become Your Best podcast and webinar series. If you are listening to this live or you're watching us on our Facebook channel, you know that June 11th is coming up quickly and we have our Rise Impact business conference. It's absolutely free and we have some phenomenal individuals who will be joining us on our live virtual event. That's right. It will be live virtual event. Riseupforyou.biz slash impact and you can grab your free ticket. I'm Lauren Sweeney and I will see you again soon.